the Tech Level series, there's a 14 inch, a 24 inch, a 48 inch, 59 inch, and a 78 inch, and all are equipped with a soft shell case. In the Magnetic Tech series, there's a 24 inch and a 48 inch, and both are equipped with a soft shell carry case. Jason Becker with Stabila, and I'm going to show you next tech levels. Um, and what we mean by tech is this level here looks like a standard Stabila level, but now we also have an electronic module built into it. And so I'll show you a couple things about the electronic module here. It's your on off button there, right? Turns it on and it automatically goes into a measurement. And if you could see on here, we have two different screens on this level. One of them's on the front there. And one of them is on the top. And the reason why we do that is most of the time that you're working with the level, you're working over it. So we want to make sure that we have a screen that we can read easy so we're not bending over so much. It's one of the things that Stabila does. We really try to watch how guys use their tools and make sure that we make them easy to use. Now with this uh, module here though, we have what we say five languages. And what I mean by that is we, it speaks five different languages of different types of measurements that contractors use. Uh, the number one would be degrees. And if I hit the mode button right here, I'm going to switch different languages. And the next language or mode that it does is percentage of grade. That's used a lot by uh, concrete contractors and then even a lot of west coast plumbers and uh, mechanical contractors. The next mode right here is millimeters per meter. That's used mostly in Europe, but there's a lot of jobs in both the US and Canada that are switching over to metric uh, when it's government work. Then the next mode here is a really important one for uh, most of the carpenter contractors and it's interest per foot. And what that means is it's going to tell me exactly what inch per foot, how much fall I have uh, uh, over a given footage, right? And in this mode, in the first mode, I have it in decimal form, which is real hard to read on a tape measure, but it's great for doing math problems. So the fifth mode is inches per foot in fractional form, which is what I read on a tape measure. So right now this level is telling me that I'm at one to three quarter inches per foot. One important thing that this le uh, level does also is I have a reference point. So that means this level does level and plumb, right? But I can also make this le level tell me what angle I'm at by telling me, but if I hit reference number, it's, this angle here is going to be zero. So I can easily refer to zero much easier than a degree over and over again. So if I'm doing repetitive angles, I'm able to hit reference and lock it into a certain angle. Another big thing that this level does is I have a sound function on here. And what that means is if I push this button right here, I have sound. So what, that's, what that means is this level is actually going to tell me when I hit level, or it's going to tell me when I hit plumb. And how it does that is when I get within two degrees of level, it's going to start beeping. And the beeping is going to get faster and faster the closer I get to level, until I finally hit level and it's going to give me an even tone. So what that means is after a while, if you're using the tool for, uh, for a little bit of time, it becomes intuitive where I don't have to look at the level anymore. I just listen for the beep. I know I'm getting closer as it beeps faster. When I hit level, I nail it. So we've created a level that I don't have to look at anymore. I don't have to watch the bubble. Here's an existing handicap ramp on the same job site. It was poured a few months ago. So we can put the level down on top, on top of this handicap ramp and I can show you whether they're within code or not on this one. So here's what an inspector would do. They'd put the level down, turn it on, and on top of the screen right here, I can see 5.0 degrees. That means this handicap ramp is within code. As long as it's less than 5.3 degrees and not more than 5.3 degrees, this one passed. The tech level also works great on some interior job sites also. And you can see we're in a residential job site, some high-end cabinets, some high-end countertops. I'm going to show you a demonstration of how we would use it in a kitchen application. As I put the level down on this cabinet, you can see that we have a big island here. And now it shows you another reason why we make longer levels, more than just a two foot and a four foot. Right here we have a 59 inch level and a 78 inch level. And the reason why we have that is so that we can reach from one end to the other. It's the most accurate way of working. So right now I have the level on and the level saying 0 0.05 degrees. That's how far out the cabinet is. That actually means a 32nd of an inch over six feet. It's pretty darn close. But we can actually shim this cabinet now and make it perfect. And how I'm going to do it though is you would typically do it by looking at the bubble. And what I would have to do is I'd have to get down there, I'd have to shim it a little bit, I'd have to walk back over, look at the bubble and say, nope, I need to go up a little bit further. Do it again and go back and forth. Kind of a hassle. So at Stabila we always try to make the application easier and faster. 
So now though, we can do it the faster way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the sound on in a level. All right, so I'm gonna hit this button right here. And now you can hear the fast beeping. That means it's not quite level yet. But when it's a fast beep, it means we're close. So what I'm gonna do is shim this cabinet until I actually hear an even tone. It's gonna tell me when it's level. I don't have to look at it. There, even tone, that's level. Out of all the features on this level though, I have to tell you the most critical one is the fact that you can recalibrate this level whenever you want. And I have uh, a fast way to do it, and uh, I'm gonna show you right now. Instead of shimming the level up on a, on a level surface, I would actually, because we have removable end caps that grip the wall, I'm actually gonna stick this to the wall and I'm gonna show you how to calibrate it. So I take the level, I stick it to the wall. Because we have the end caps that grip the wall and don't mar the wall, it sticks. So I can actually hold it with one hand. So all I do is center the bubble. And I've had somebody say, Jason, you mean you're going to calibrate that electric module to that vial right there? And I said, yeah, that is a locked in vial. We have the most accurate vial in the industry. So yes, I am. And as contractors, what do we do for a living? We read bubbles. So I'm going to center that bubble perfect. Now it's critical you take the time to center it perfect because you're recalibrating an instrument, right? So now over on the upper left hand side, we have a button that says cal. That means calibrate. Hit it once, hit it twice. The second push is a safety mechanism so you don't do it on accident. You wait four seconds, it beeps, and the screen says ready. It's calibrated. Now it's actually calibrated in level and in plumb. Here we are on an existing set of stairs, and I'm going to show you how you can use a tech level on a stair application like this. This particular set of stairs, we have a 13 inch tread, and we have a 7 and 7 eighths or 7 and 3 quarter rise. Now, if somebody asked me to cut them a set of railings on a 13 inch tread and an 8 inch rise, I wouldn't be able to do it. We have to be able to convert it into a degree that we can cut with a miter box. So that's where the tech level really comes in handy. And I prefer the 59 because the 59 reaches all five steps. So all you do is you take the tech level, run it across the nosing here, hold it down nice and tight. I'm going to turn it on. And in degrees, it tells me 32.2 degrees. Now I have a real measurement that I can go to the miter box and cut my railing.